Hi, I'm Dr. Jomar. Today we're going to talk about cauliflower ears. But before we get to it, we're going to talk about what causes them. So a cauliflower ear is a collection of blood that occurs between the perichondrium and the cartilage of the ear. Blunt trauma or shear forces that graze across an ear causes the bleeding inside of the ear. In my case, I play jujitsu, I'm getting a lot of shear forces on my ear. It's important to treat cauliflower ear, especially when you have a big bleed, because the pressure on the cartilage can lead to necrosis or dying of that cartilage tissue. Of course, the advice is always go and see your doctor or nurse to get your cauliflower ear drained. So just to show you very briefly, this is what hopefully reasonably normal ear looks like. And this is my cauliflower ear, which I'm gonna have my registrar drain. We're gonna swab the ear, make sure it's clean, use a no touch technique, drain the hematoma. We'll talk about aftercare once you've seen that process. This is immediately after the drain. This is very likely to reaccumulate now with blood. Regardless of if I get any more blunt trauma on my ear, I'm gonna put a dressing on the ear. Now it won't be enough just to strap the ear to the head. What we need to do is put some gauze dressing behind and in front of the ear and then to have that strapped around the head and holding it tight to keep the pressure on. So to wrap up, those are the basics of draining a cauliflower ear. Just remember sterile technique using uh, alcohol swab and putting compression in front and behind the ear if you're wrapping the head like this or using magnets, which I much prefer. You can buy those online as well.